<laughs> Richie, many congratulations. World Championship debut, victory at Alexandra Palace. Just try and sum up how you're feeling right now. I'm just buzzing. I never thought I was gonna, well, obviously I do think I'm gonna win, but it, is a, it was a tough opponent. I've known Boris all year. So just get through, it's, it's a bonus. It looks as if you thoroughly enjoyed every minute from the walk on right up until you got on that stage. I've got my family here. My mum and brother are, don't, had never seen me play darts before other than local. So it was good and I wanted them to give them a show. And they win or lose. When you were tuning up to the winning line in sight, did you make slightly hard work of it after that? I probably did because I walked off that second. I've never done sessions like walk off. And to go 2 new up and walk off again, I wanted to stay up on that stage and play. I've never done it before and I was walked up and I was a bit flat. So I'm happy, really happy to get through the way I did, to be fair. The challenge to a win earlier on in the season really helped you settle into it and know you can win again before you came here? It was hard. It's, I mean, to win the challenge to a win is massive. I think to me sometimes it's harder to win one of them than it is the Pro Tour, just because there's so many really good players, no matter what round it is, it's very good. It done me good to get into the Pro Tour, bands and art, that's all we've done for me. I said the Challenge Tour win, that then opened the doors to get you in early on, because, Pro Tours, yeah. because we all know that Challenge Tour ranking, you need to be top one or two early on in the season to open those yes. doors. Oh, I mean, I got through to the first, I think, 10, 12, whatever it was, and it's a massive, it's a massive bonus. And obviously, then later in the season, you get a lot of the big boys do drop out. So if you're around about six, seven, I mean, I got through. I didn't think I was going to get in, but a lot of them pulled out. So happy days, really. What was it like the moment you realised that you'd qualified to come and play here? Well, I had a choice of going to Gibraltar or qualify, try and qualify Gibraltar or go to the Pro Tour. Uh, Challenge tour to get thingy, to get first and second, and I chose the Gibraltar and I got through and I won a game. And I was so happy when I won that game. I thought I'm 99% in here, I've just got to win maybe one more game in the last couple if I get in. It's just sometimes it's, it is a gamble because Challenge tour and Europeans clash. And it's horrible to have to pick. I could be the biggest gamble of your starting career? Easy. I mean, Callum Rez, who won the Challenge Tour, didn't go. He went that way and he got through, fair play. But obviously, I went that way and I got in. It is literally 50 50 flip of a coin. Sometimes it's, t it's too hard for a decision. I mean, I had four tournaments to pull out, or a minimum, if I got through the first round and got me in it. Playing on those Pro Tours before you come here, playing against the bigger players, did that help settle you as well, knowing you'd been, around, been around them before you come here? Of course it does, I mean, I've, I've played, like, I've, 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 I've got a list, I want to play with the top ten in the world, and I've got two left, I think, but if you play them players, if you, even if you sneak a win, no matter where it is, it's good. I mean, I've sneaked a win against Gary this year, and probably should have done, but it, my confidence-wise, Boosted, massive. Having beaten the likes of Gary, James Wade up next. Is there any fear there playing him? No. Not James, right? I didn't mean not James, but no, I don't, I don't worry about anyone. I've played them all. There's only to say two I've not played. I don't even fear. If I play my game, I'm going to give them a go anyway. It's down to them to miss or, or it. Now you've got through the first one, do you feel you're almost on a free? Whatever happens is a bonus from now on in? It is. I mean, I, as I said to you, I, don't, I didn't expect to be here, regardless, because of change to blah, blah, blah. So, for me, it's, it's, a bit, it's been a free roll year, getting the players' champs or whatever. It's, it's, it's pure free roll. That's probably what's helped me, helped me out, to be fair. Richie, pleasure. Thank you very much. Just one for me, Richie, if that's right. Um, does this, your first game up on the, the big Ali Poly stage, it's really whet your appetite for a, a big 2020 going forwards? The, the crowd here, I've never been obviously I've never been on there. And the crowd is respectful anyway, but they go everywhere. But yeah, I really want a kick on there because that crowd is lovely. I love being up there. That's what every dark player wants, don't they? <coughs> to be up there or any big stage. So, yeah, literally 
it won't work at the top there. So the goal for 2020 moving forward, I assume, is get on the TV stage and start qualifying for the TV tournament. Oh, I've got to get, yeah, I'm going to get my tour card. Yeah. But I won't need to if I get certain, I think it's over it, yeah, certain distance in the world. But if I don't, do I go to school or not? I'll kick on. Trust me, yeah. Cheers. Yeah.